Josh is someone who has experienced melanoma in his own family. Josh lost his father to melanoma in 2011 and has been a Melanoma New Zealand ambassador for the past nine years. Josh is quintessentially cool. He's calm, humble, supremely talented, generous, and selflessly dedicated himself to tonight's event and any other asks we make of him. Joining us now to share his story and tell you about tonight's menu, please welcome the culinary cool, Josh Emmett. That's a really lovely introduction. Thank you, Andrea. Um, it's great to see you um, all here for this incredible evening, and thanks so much uh, for supporting um, the event. Um, melanomia is a charity that is very close to my heart, um, and it, it, it is a disease that has uh, touched me and my family personally, and therefore uh, something that I feel very passionate about. Uh, ten years ago, Melanoma New Zealand reached out to see whether I'd perhaps donate um, a dinner for an upcoming charity event, um, and I obliged and suggested I could do better uh, the next year, and became an ambassador for the charity, and I have been ever since. My dad died of melanoma on April Fool's Day uh, 2011, three months after my youngest son was born. Uh, growing up, my father would not have been considered uh, high risk. He had skin like me, but we now know the difference of that now. Um, and for the record, I go this colour after about 30 minutes in the sun with, um, with sunscreen on. Um, I've, I've, I've always had very dark skin. In fact, my mother um, checked the ward, the true story, when I was born um, to see whether I was the right, the right little boy. Um, he did, however, farm all day um, without a hat and often shirtless, and he was in pretty, pretty good bloody neck those days. Over the years, he did develop a lot of moles. Um, he had been put into a high-risk category with skin checks uh, twice a year for every 10 years. He had a few malignant moles removed, which had worried us, and in 2010, his hairdresser let him know that he had a mole on the top of, the, top of his head that he hadn't seen before. He did have quite a full head of um, hair at that age. It was stage four melanoma. He elected for no chemo, um, as it was pretty much through his body at that point, um, and he wanted to live um, as, well as, he could, as well as he could for as long as he could, um, and he lasted one year. Um, circumstances uh, changed for me in 2011 and left me unemployed, and I left Australia and we moved home to spend the last few months with my father. Uh, we decided to pop away to the mount for a weekend, um, just to escape, and while we were there, he wasn't feeling great, went, went, went to have a quick lie down, and never really got out of bed again. Um, we took him back home, and then we transferred him to hospice, um, which they were absolutely incredible. Um, I was at his bedside when he died at 5.30 a.m. two weeks later, having slept by his side. The rest of my family opted that night, bizarrely, to stay at home. In fact, we had about a half an hour argument who was going to stay and who was going to go and why we would go and, and, and got in sort of fits of laughter over it. But I ended up, I wasn't the one who was supposed to stay, I ended up staying for some strange reason. Um, he coped so well throughout the illness, um, making times for friends, um, but he really struggled saying goodbye to my um, son Finn, my eldest son, who he had built a special bond with over the last few months. Um, and he knew he would not get to see him grow up. Um, when he tried to say goodbye, he couldn't even look at him. We miss Dad hugely, um, and I know there's so many in the people in this room, and it's not a week goes by, I don't think, that I don't um, encounter someone who is um, affected uh, by melanoma or has it in their family. There's kitchen team um, in present today working with us. Um, another member of my family had a scare a week ago. Um, and then, as Andrea said, I think um, prevention is the best cure uh, sometimes. So get yourself checked um, and um, yeah, take care of yourselves. So now, um, on to the menu for this evening. As I said, it gives me great pleasure um, to be able to cook for you this evening. Um, it's been a long time coming, so I'm incredibly happy we are, we're finally there. Uh, canapes outside, we had Timatuku Timitu oysters from Waiheke Island. I absolutely love them. I think they're better than Bluffies, but I know the whole of this room would disagree. Um, <laughs> I love Bluffies now as well. Um, the uh, tuna, we do tuna with a seaweed cracker, um, and also beautiful little mushroom and thyme croquettes. That's something I've been serving at the uh, Oyster Inn as a vegetarian dish, and also chicken liver parfait, which I've got on at my restaurant Onslow in Auckland at the moment. 
Um, bread and seaweed butter is uh, on the table in front of you. Um, your starter tonight is um, Big Glory Bay Salmon um, from Stewart Island, um, generously donated. Uh, it's a very, very simple dish, but it's the flavours that I love most about this. We actually served this in, uh, in Onslow um, as a trolley, and I originally served it at Savoy Grill in London um, in a very similar fashion. So it's cured gravelac style, has a honey mustard dressing, which is acidic and sweet, um, pickled cucumber and rye bread. Super, super simple, but really, really delicious. And there's a little um, sour cream sort of um, squirrel on there as well, um, which is the leftover cured salmon, which we blend with sour cream. It's bloody delicious. Uh, the beef cheek, uh, slow braised, um, we're still sort of in winter, uh, we are down here anyway. Um, it's, well it's actually cold in Auckland at the moment. Um, Jerusalem artichokes, which you can't get up north, you can get down south, which is fantastic. And uh, white asparagus, which has just started. So it's a little bit of an odd mix of seasons actually, because we have got white asparagus and we've still got the Jerusalem artichokes. But flavours that work really, really well together. Um, slow based beef cheek, extremely tender. Um, dessert, we've saved, we've saved truffles for dessert rather than giving, to, giving them to you on the beef. Um, we're giving them to you in the ice cream for dessert. Um, I don't think it's going to divide the room, I think you'll all love it. Um, but we do a beautiful Valrhona chocolate and hazelnut mousse, um, preserved blackberries, uh, truffle ice cream and um, hazelnuts which are caramelised and rolled in chocolate. Um, I hope you have a um, wonderful, wonderful evening. It's, um, I'm going to take my glasses because now I can actually see you. Now that I've finished talking, um, it's great to see so many um, familiar faces around the room. Um, have a wonderful evening. Look after yourselves and I look forward to seeing you um, either down here or up there soon. Thank you. Beautiful people of Christchurch, please make lots of noise for Melanoma New Zealand Ambassador Josh Emmett.